I have not. Welcome guys, today we're gonna be playing a classic uh, that I actually never played. I remember seeing PewDiePie play it, but it was so long ago uh, that I don't remember anything about the game. We did play the Yuri Parable, uh, the Doki Doki literature mod that someone made. So that's basically the only thing I really know about the game. They just released like a deluxe version of the game. So I think they may have added more. So I thought this is the perfect time. I've been asked to play this game a lot. So guys, let's freaking jump into this. Play the Stanley Parable. So no, I've not played. So the only thing I, re I remember that this game is about is that this narrator is This is, is a just story of a funny. man named Stanley. Who is Stanley? Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, <laughs> and in what, what the heck? This is what employee 427 did every day of every month. This is an easy job for reals. And although others might have considered it soul winning, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. He won't know what no to do. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. Am I the only getting back from vibes? Isolation. Uh? Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. <sighs> oh. Oh crap, I'm already playing. Man, those cutscenes are so seamless. <laughs> okay. Guys, hello? Stanley clips through into the back rooms. I'm sorry, I know I make the bright I I know I make a lot of backrooms references, but come on. This looks like it's it's just a few shades of yellow away. You know, All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? I hate Bundy. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So in this game, it's pretty much like you can disobey like basically disobey. There's multiple endings, I think, and there is Stanley ways went around touching every <laughs> little thing in the office, but it didn't yeah. make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story in any Break way. the cycle, Stanley! You've 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 been through to so much so You've been through too much, Stanley. Break the cycle. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? I don't know the achievement. Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, no, no. Is that it really? Is it really I an achievement? I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now, suppose you were to click the door 20 times. Oh. I would say that's the kind of effort that Oh. Say hello to my auto-clicker. Mm. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction. I've probably clicked it about 200 times right now. For a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost <laughs> certainly 50 clicks. He's like, let me in! I want this achievement to have meant uh, something. I've have definitely clicked it like 2,000 times already. reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment. A willing I can't hustle anymore! Way, no matter what the cost. It's really clicking like a thousand times. I'm going to door number 417. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? Oh, get your first achievement. You can't jump. Oh, you can't jump in this game. Hey, I freaking got the achievement. I think I broke the game. It's like I'm clicking on a keyboard that doesn't exist. He's just carrying around a keyboard and walking around? Oh man, we are not gonna get very far in this game, are we? <laughs> it's- I just wanna figure out everything. Stanley, get off the desk. I just don't want this crazy monster to come and get when me. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. This was not the correct way to the <laughs> meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. <laughs> Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Is that where I'm going? Okay, let's go to the employee lounge. 
Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour just after the, all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Put this coffee on the Stanley ground. simply stood here, drinking it all in. Fuel. What is the clicking, though? Every time I click, it happens. Yes. Really, really worth it being here. I'm just, I just want to annoy the crap a out of this narrator. Room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, Stanley, you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Stanley wanted to get swole in the break room, so he started doing squats. At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy <laughs> and reflected poorly on his overall personality. You don't tell me what to do, it's narrator. That this is why everyone left. Uh, no, I'm the reason why you're gonna make me cry. Stanley. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue. <laughs> but when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. He didn't decide anything. Listen, you're not my thoughts. Get out of my head! Hello? Please start talking again. I am alone. I am lonely. Oh, he has to get really mad. He's like, okay, you're still in there. <laughs> uh, this game probably has so much replayability. There's probably so much to do. Okay, he's okay. He's not gonna say anything. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing. He room. went back in the room. <laughs> the first open door on his left to get back to business. Uh, oh, I don't see that one. I only see this one. Ooh, what is in here? Stanley was so bad at following directions. It's incredible he wasn't oh, five this years like ago. Is it not? Do not lie. If you are lying right now, stop. What? Picture them. What? Oh, never mind. What I was going to say was not important. Uh, do not jump from the cargo lift while it's in motion. Bet. Oh! But in his eagerness to prove <laughs> that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his it's death. It's because you wouldn't talk to Good me. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Ah, uh, I showed the game. I showed the game, didn't I? Stanley was so bad at following directions. It's What's in here? It wasn't five years Nothing. Ago. Oh, look, the Stanley. Left I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Oh, this I'm is not cool. your enemy, really. I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact this is, is that the dangerous. story has been about nothing but you. Ooh, can I go over there? All this time. Can I go over there? There's someone you've been no. neglecting. Oh, Stanley. I bet you we can. Woo! Some what? Really? Ah! I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? I couldn't help my speedrunning tactics. Convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you. To I'm show a bad you something worker. Beautiful. <laughs> Look, Danger let everywhere. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. I want to see what's in here. Two v one. Okay, what's over here? Uh huh. Warning, do not stand on this side of fence. Dang it! <laughs> Wait, what are these warning signs? No buckets past this point. <gasps> Can I get a bucket? Wait, did I miss a bucket? So, oh, <gasps> bucket! No, oh, come on! That's clearly the bucket that I'm not supposed to take over there. Dang it! Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. I thought I opened it. I, I have to dis- I have to- <laughs> Perhaps you <laughs> misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. What are you gonna do about I it? I still don't think we're oh. communicating properly. Oh. <laughs> Stanley, all right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? Yeah. You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see, there's nothing here. I, I, I haven't even a finished lie. building this section of the map. Because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Oh. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? What's over there? Do not think I put a lot of time into that. Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Open world? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. 
Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. Okay, what are you about to do? There we go. A oh, third God. option. He really this did send me to the back rooms. leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. <laughs> I just, I have to not follow his... Okay, you got me. I want to see what's in here. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. A one? <laughs> I mean, I can understand if you had reservations, you saw ways the game could be improved to more fully express itself mechanically and artistically, but a one? That's not even helpful. Oh, what? what am I supposed to do with that? Uh, but I guess it isn't my place to judge. I'm just not yeah, happy with based anything. Based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. A screen? Da Vinci? The Stanley Parable Worldwide Leaderboard. Oh, wow. Is this for reals? <gasps> two seconds? You can beat this game in two seconds? That's got to be fake. 21... Percent of players skip the intro sequence. Only the the worst thirty three percent of players choose the blue color. What? <laughs> Wait, this is me. You are objectively the right. Th the last person. Okay, you're definitely lying to me. You are. You're definitely lying to me. I'm going back. I'm going back. Now, would you say what? that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. Okay. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Sure. Perfect. Let me boot it up. In this what? game, <laughs> the baby crawls left towards danger. Okay. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. Bye-bye, baby. the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands bye -bye, of family life. Have fun. I think the art world will really take me. Oh, he's staring at but me. Of course, it's creepy. The message of the game only becomes clear me. once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. You heartless bastard. <laughs> Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? It's to spite because you. It's the matter. Well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. No, I oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? This game is so cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. What is he going to put me in, Mario or something? Uh -huh. Oh, what the heck? Fascinating. What do you think this game is about, Stanley? What's our backstory? What is our motivation? Is this that one hmm. fire watch game? But well, it seems it's obvious called? to me that you are meant to it. play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians below you from up high in your creep tower, perhaps for some sort of twisted erotic purpose. Hmm. Yes, that must be it. What a fascinating venture into the experience of total mental depravity. I never so played this far, game. I, I don't know much about it. I love everything about this game, Stanley. And it seems there's even more. Come, let's venture outward and see what else is out there. Oh, it really lets you leave? Is this Siren Head? Are they being for real? Is this like really a new game? Oh no. No, 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 no. It, it can't, can't be. be. What? It is. It's an open world game. Yay. Good God, quickly block it off. No! Oh no! <laughs> Oh, I really wanted Stanley, to get out. What a close call. You really wandered off into that, that thing, that big open, just wandering around, no right or wrong directions, no path to follow. You can just go in any. Oh, oh he hates oh, open world games. Heavens, we avoided it. We're out There's got to be a place now, I can Stanley. go to. Okay, I'm going to get us out of here. No. Let's find another game, preferably something with walls, something with yeah, nice, big, insurmountable walls. 
<laughs> Can't you see that I want to play open world game? Rocket League? What? Wonderful. <laughs> okay, see, this, this is, is definitely exactly new. What I had in mind. Just a nice big box for you to run around in. What? There isn't any possibility that you could get lost here. Now this is game design. Stanley, if you this is crazy, to get lost in this dude. Game, I will be phenomenally impressed. I'm not even a car though. Is there even a soccer ball? Okay, so ball? what exactly do we do here? Let's see. There are How lots of cars here this? in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Sports Stanley, ball? I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun. We shall run the bases and do a touchdown together. Yes, I think surely we must. Where's okay, the ball? Stanley, Drop the ball. Here's then. the ball. Have fun. Oh! It's right in my head, dude. Wait, what side am I on? I don't know. This is so... It, this is so cool. Well, I'm like all fast now. Are you doing go. it? Are you winning? Is this fun? Is it better than my miserable little story that I worked so hard on? Yes. Stanley, I, I have think a thought. Probably. And I realize I'm not a sportsologist, <laughs> but if one ball generates a certain amount of raw adrenal pleasure, I guess then I'm surely on this side. multiple balls makes for an even more euphoric sports you experience. Can you give me more balls? I'm going to try it out. Here comes another ball. Oh, two yes. balls. <laughs> Oh, goodness, that really does feel amazing, doesn't it? I love Stanley, it. I'm like a child in a confectionery shop. I simply have to have more. I'm insatiable. More balls. He loves balls. So many balls. It's like a dream come true. This was not what I expected to freaking be playing Rocket League. But I'm not mad. Either. Are you enjoying this, Stanley? Are you having fun? Is this... Oh, <gasps> what are you doing? Oh! <laughs> How long could I have stayed in there? Oh my god. Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. I can break away How from the game. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley, come back. Oh my god. What if this turns into a horror game or something? This is kind of freaky. I don't like this. Yo, this game's wild. Hello. This is so creepy. You think the narrator will find me? What? Hey. What is this? Who? Okay, now I'm really getting some backroom vibes. Like, we got the computers and we got stuff and secrets. Actually, this, you know what this kind of looks like? A uh, Gmod. That's what it kind of looks like to me. Which is also kind of creepy. So, is this like the Truman Show? Is this like a, an experiment on my character, on this guy? I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. No, I don't. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. What does that I mean? I can wait. Oh, that's it? That was an ending? All of his co-workers were gone. Okay. What could it mean? Crap, what can Stanley I do Stanley decided to go to... When Stanley came okay, to a let's set of his two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Let's see what he wants. What's the whole point of this game? Yet, there was not a single person here either. Get Feeling Chris out of the broom closet? Of disbelief, <laughs> Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might the tips find tips for not getting there. fired? 
How to solve a dispute with a coworker? Let a ball beside you take it out passive aggressively on coworkers, whereas any coworkers for not supporting you more. True. Using slides to assure employees that everything is okay. Make sure the slide has a slick blue graphic on the header. Throw some bevel on the text. This will ensure calm and productive work environments. <laughs> Everyone is unique. You most of all. There's so many details I want to look at. Monetize free to play. <laughs> this game roasts in other games. Charts, slides, charts, and slides. This is this is really funny. I love it. Hey, someone's in the broom closet. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. I feel like there's so many different branches I probably could do. Why? If, why do I? Why am I able to come in here? Get there like was a nothing wrench? here. No choice to make. No path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. The more you say no reason to be here, the more I suspect I should be here. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He I love wasn't it here. Doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet FA. What does FA mean? Oh, like F all? Are you are you really <laughs> still in the broom closet? It's my favorite standing place. around doing nothing. This is my safe Why? space. Please offer me some explanation here. I'm I'm genuinely confused. I like broom closets. What what more do you need to know? There's nothing wrong with it. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because <laughs> literally this closet is of absolutely no, no. significance to the story. The most important room in the game. So ever. I never he just doesn't want me to mention. know why. This is how I am with all games, but this game is so like breaking the fourth wall. I love it. Maybe to you, this is somehow its own branching path. Exactly. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom <laughs> closet ending? <laughs> the broom closet ending was my favorite. My favorite. I hope your friends find this concerning. I love the. <laughs> this is the best ending of the whole game. I want him to start yelling. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really <laughs> stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. I'm fat and ugly that with drug and money. stupid. Also, Stanley is addicted to what? drugs and hookers. Okay, that's a little... Dude, okay, that's a little much for just being in a broom closet. Okay? Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion <laughs> about what's going on right now. You're dead. This really isn't it. You got to this it? broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. I just, oh my god. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Who's gonna do that? Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. No one's here. They have fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first <laughs> I'm never video leaving game here. mechanics. You won't, and you won't get me to leave the broom closet. Tropes in video gaming, so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. I refuse. What if I don't? Are you gonna force me out? Put me in another game? No, I will die for the broom closet. I'll wait. Okay, well, uh, it feels about five minutes now. I really don't think I can do anything else. Ah, second. You too? <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? Fungus? <laughs> He's Look, so mad at you me! You can hammer out the details, I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again.
Coming to a staircase, oh, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. What's down here? You know, honestly though, I am just as interested in like what he wants me to do. I also want to know what does he want me to do. So, you know what? Let's just do the normal route. I, I feel like there's so much we can do though later on. <laughs> Executive bathroom? Money in the morning, money in the evening, money for breakfast, money, crisp, extreme bathrooms. Oh my god, it's, it's like the uncanny memes. Your toilet? <laughs> Your toilet? Your you toilet is? What did Kung Fu Panda do? Wait, why am I able to I'm able to click something? He hasn't talked to me. What am I supposed to do? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from oh. him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, uh. five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Ah, two, eight, four, five. Surely if we keep getting it wrong, he'll get mad at us too. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons <laughs> on the keypad, Stanley How did happened I to input out? the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Uh-huh, where am I? Okay, I don't know what I just did. I think I pressed up, but... Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now? when for years it had never occurred to him. This question would not go unanswered for long. What does this mean? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control, Mind Facility. Control Facility. Okay. I really want to know what he wants me to do. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Oh, wow. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Yes, I do. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers the lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen and Stanley one of them Eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This reminds me of the Incredibles Like when he when Mr. Incredible goes go, like uh, not talk about the memes, but like when he goes in that one secret place This mind control facility it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Yeah, it's a lie, it's no. a lie. It's... He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind oh, I saw a to the world? Right there. Why was that there? Is that another secret? But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, 
Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. System power. Off. Yeah, we're definitely going to do multiple playthroughs of this. The ironic part is that we're being controlled, technically. He's telling us what to do. And a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet... Even as the immense door slowly oh, opened, sky. Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Well, I can probably Where go back. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. Oh, but I really want to go back! For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. Oh, and so that pretty. was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. It's right. Wow, that was easy. <laughs> That was easy to beat the game. Well, the game's over, guys. Ah, uh, okay. This game is so cool. I would love to... There's so many... Like, just thinking about all the different paths I could have taken, I would love to play more. Let me know if you want to see some more, guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, go check out the game, by the way. I'm sure there's more stuff if you're a fan of the game. Yeah, it's uh, it, it, it's re-released, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, subscribe, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.